Hey YouTube, this is Kathlin300 and here's another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Ari's minimap and it's just a little minimap in the side of your screen so you know where the hell you're going and how to get back. Um, I find it very useful and it's pretty easy to download and install. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is download Mod Loader and uh, I'll have the link in the description below. Just go ahead and click direct and uh, mod loaders there and then you're gonna wanna go into the link in the description below and download uh, RE's minimap and it's right here 1.3.1 I don't know why it's under 1.2.5 it's kinda weird but uh, download that as well it will take you to AdFly and uh, congratulations uh, you are today's winner please claim your prize in the next two minutes by entering your email address that was annoying. Wait a second, I'm getting a Skype call. Well, that was annoying as all get Congratulations, out. Uh, you are today's winner. Please. Okay, that was really annoying. It actually opened my Skype. I don't know how, but it did. Okay, so after that, sorry about that, uh, it'll download straight to your download, downloads folder or whatever and uh, you can minimize your internet and go into finder and then go to library application support and minecraft and uh, if you're on a pc you go to start and type in percent app data percent click on the roaming folder and then it's dot minecraft All right. once you're in the bin uh, normally this is a minecraft dot jar f uh, file and you need to change it to a folder you can click it open with and uh, go to utility 10.6 and it'll change it into a folder or uh, if you're on a PC use a WinRAR um, yeah if, I, if you're on a Mac you should be used to this by now if you haven't go look in all of my videos from the past okay so first we're gonna uh, do mod loader and uh, show that in folder okay I've already put in mod loader but you need to unzip the file and you need to take all these classes and put them in here I've already done that and then uh, RE mini mini mod or whatever um, unzip that as well and you should get a folder and inside that folder are these files uh, some people tell you to go in here and then go in here and then do all of these that doesn't work it just doesn't work and put all those these little files in there so refine uh, or whatever that is should be a folder in there with everything inside and make sure when you're in here to delete your meta-imp folder I've already done that but you gotta make sure that that's deleted for this to work okay now that we're done we can go into minecraft and I can show you what this minimap is you can set waypoints and stuff with it um, I'm not really that great with it because I don't use waypoints but there's a lot of stuff that you can use with it um, Maybe I'll make a video later of how to go in depth with it, but I'm not going to really go in depth. So there's my mini map. This is a flat world, so there's really not much on there. Uh, let me go find a different world, and you'll see more. Okay. So you can see more on the mini map. It's loading, and you you can see there's stuff around it. Yeah. So this is my this is the mini map. Um, it says for the menu, press M. Uh, that's about maker options, uh, update check, auto update check, all this cool stuff. Ooh, depth point. I wonder what that is. Uh, I don't see any difference. Whatever. Minimap options. Ooh, map shape square, round. Well, that's cool. Square, round. Texture. Ooh, I like the regular one map position oh cool you can change the map position I like it there map scale no small normal large ooh larger oh I like larger that's that's helpful um oh that's how see-through it is that's awesome map large map scale don't get it whatever auto okay um 
as you can see, there's just a lot of stuff that you can mess with, and it, it's just really helpful to have. So I'm going to press M, and, oh, back, and exit menu. It looks like it paused everything, too. So this is just cool to have. You know where you're going for sure. This is really helpful if you're on short render because your computer sucks. And don't worry, I have to have mine on short render to make videos. Uh, not enough RAM. So, uh, thanks for watching. And subscribe and like.